Hello and welcome to this year's SAP S4HANA on-premise release video. I'm Yannick Pederschmidt from SAP S4HANA Product Success, Co-Innovation and Content. And it's my great pleasure to walk you through our latest releases for the on-premise market, shipped on October 2020, the sixth release in a row of SAP's Digital Core. What an unexpected year this has been so far. This pandemic has caused many, many challenges for all of us but we have worked very hard to keep the promises of this new release. Very important note, the content of this video is subject to change and here's the legal disclaimer. In this session, we will cover three chapters. First, I will give you some release strategy and transition insights. Second, we'll go through the key innovations per line of business. And lastly, we will look at the key innovation per industries. So let's start. Our first agenda point is an overview of the release maintenance strategy for SAP S4HANA, consisting of five aspects. SAP ships one on-premise release per year, and starting this year, the name changes to the year of publication, hence this year, SAP S4HANA 2020. There's a mainstream maintenance of about five years for each release. The shipments of innovation for on-premise goes through feature packages. Support packages are delivered during the mainstream maintenance as well. And customer-specific maintenance is possible where the mainstream maintenance ends. And another important thing, find here the links on SAP HANA and SAP S4 HANA 2020 restrictions. Make sure your implementation team knows that. SAP S4 HANA is designed to be the digital core of the intelligent enterprise with intelligent ERP scenario. And they can be found everywhere, in finance, in manufacturing, in procurement, and so on. And three principles define intelligent ERP and ultimately provide a hands-free ERP wherever possible. A digital user experience with the new Fiori 3 theme court and conversational design. A next generation processes, we're rethinking the way business gets done through the smart junction of technology and innovation and automation. And of course, we are leveraging machine learning capabilities and robotic process automation in the standard ERP processes wherever it makes sense. ACP S4HANA 2020 brings innovations to all lines of business. Note that many of them are available in ACP S4HANA Cloud already, since we have one code line for all ACP S4HANA deployment modes. Let's start the review of the innovations in the lines of business. Finance is the backbone of every business. First, in Treasury management, we provide new Treasury reporting data from cash management, Treasury, and risk management. We have also further improved the alignment of Treasury application with the overall SAP S4HANA reporting strategy. Highlighting financial positions and risk is now easier than ever. Treasury management analytics give you the opportunity to create a Treasury dashboard to provide insights onto Treasury operations for Treasury executive and include key performance indicators, KPIs, such as cash balances, market trends, or FX risks. Another innovation in the field of Treasury management is in financial accounting. In financial accounting, you can reduce the use of GL accounts as bank accounts by simplifying bank relationship management processes. This facilitates your payment processes by connecting new house bank accounts to a new type of GL account, which is a bank reconciliation account. This leads to an easier payment configuration, including harmonized configurations of self-initiated payment and increases the treasury operation efficiency due to much less need to wait for the new GL account when opening new bank account. It's as simple as that. To conclude our innovation in finance, we introduce revenue accounting and reporting. Revenue accounting assists you with the converged accounting standard from revenue from contract with customers like IFRS 50. SAP S4HANA 2020 provides new exciting features in contract management, inbound processing and supporting disclosures. But it's not, that's not all. We've also optimized inbound processing for the integration with SAP sales and distribution convergent accounting and invoicing, as well as third-party applications. The benefit here is very clear. A streamlined integration between revenue accounting and operational business processes, an enablement of compliance with the Converge US GAAP and IFRS revenue standards. Now let's move to sales, where we will mention three innovations. First, 
Order and contract management. We introduce intelligent product and quantity proposals. This feature is based on the dynamic product proposal framework, which enables you to receive product and quantity proposal as an input to enable an even faster selection of process during sales order entry in the famous Create Sales Order VA01 app. In addition, the intelligent product proposal allows you to predict whether the quantity of the product you will order will increase or decrease. Our next innovation is in sales billing and will help increase customer satisfaction. In this 2020 release, we now enhance the process with preliminary billing documents intended purely for negotiation purposes. Like regular billing documents, you create them based on your billing, due list items such as sales orders, debit memos and deliveries. You can show preliminary billing documents to customers to align on exact details such as prices, payment terms and send these final billing documents out to your customers, knowing that both parties are fully aligned regarding the upcoming settlement. Finally, in sales comes a simplified consumption experience. The new ACP Fiori app Customer Overview gives a comprehensive insight on sales data of one of more selected customers. Let me give you an example. You are the internal sales representative in your company and you need to respond to customer inquiries or you need to call or visit your customers. To get an overview of all relevant data quickly, you need information concerning, for example, sales volume, margin, latest returns or open quotations. Next on, let's see what's new in service management where customers are becoming more and more sophisticated with an increasing expectation. First, we've optimized service delivery through a streamlined in-house repair process, which support companies offering a repair and maintenance service for product. This service is performed in-house at repair centers. The in-house repair process contains the core activities for pre-checking, planning, repairing and triggering billing for the repair objects with the new apps, manage in-house repairs, perform pre-check, plan or perform repairs and billing. The next noteworthy innovation in service management is the ability to schedule and organize periodic services that occur repeatedly at certain intervals, such as regular maintenance. Now let me walk you through manufacturing. In this new release, we have extended the ACP Fiori apps for predictive material and resource planning. This contains the scheduled PMRP simulation creation app with the new job templates to create simulation data using material component data. This makes possible to consider configurable product consisting of non-configurable bill of materials. The process PMRP simulation app provides simulation views such as demand plan simulation, offering a new table view to compare quantities, capacity plan simulation and simulation components. The second innovation in manufacturing is about integration and TCO reduction. This integration now supports the ERP application and the manufacturing execution system process on different levels of granularity and it makes easier to leverage capabilities in production engineering and operations such as change impact analysis for production processes managed by SAP manufacturing execution. And where there's manufacturing, there's of course supply chain. Brand new and never seen before, ACP S4HANA 2020 delivers extended service parts planning. This new process is now included in the core of ACP S4HANA 2020 and the current service parts planning solutions is in the SCM system. Brand new in this release too, an advanced ATP available to promise check method which offers an optimized availability of product for specific requirement in supply protections. This is our very first shipment. This innovation will help increase customer loyalty, improve margin, reduce out-of-stock risks for late-coming, highly profitable and high-prior orders. Now in transportation management, we deliver new interfaces for external transportation planning. Those new web services are required for the exchange of transportation demand as well as the consolidated load from the carrier. In connection with the efficient and optimizing planning of transport requirements, the use of specialized software component in order to handle this task is becoming increasingly important. In logistics, we have enhanced extended warehouse management with a new pre-allocated stock process and a whole set of ACP Fiori apps. A pre-allocated stock contains products urgently needed for goods issues but which aren't available in the warehouse, for example, product required urgently by productions of customers. 
This increases the efficiency of the entire process. In inventory management, we bring up a great example of modern driven automation for an increased automation and efficiency, which supports the situation handling framework directly in the physical inventory process. With the new situation template, you can now display in-app messages for these physical inf inventory documents, which corresponds to your situation type configuration. You can use this situation template to create your own ready-to-use situation and, of course, adapt it to your settings for various physical inventory use cases. Next in line, R&D, engineering, where we enable continuous improvement processes through a standardized problem-solving functionality in quality management. You work on solving the problem using the 8D methodology and its predefined process steps. The new app allows you to make continuous improvement using a standardized problem-solving process. Let me show you now what's new in product compliance. Whenever a company produces, sells or transports a product, the company must ensure that the product meets all the regulations, laws, industry standards and of course the company standards. One particular branch within this line of business is dangerous goods management. Now, with the ACP S4 HANA 2020 release and as part of the ACP content for dangerous goods management, a new content-based compliance requirements are delivered. Let's move to sourcing and procurement, where I would like to talk about two of my highlights, starting with individual supplier evaluation. Our customers can now define custom criteria to measure the performance of their suppliers. We provide a smart system to support the decision for the right supplier to deliver goods or services. This individual evaluation capabilities increases transparency into the entire supply lifecycle and relationship, which help customers systematically identify potential for supplier improvement. Now let's take a step further and tighten the integration between ACP S4 HANA and ACP Ariba supporting lean service integration. Customers can create lean service requisition in ACP Ariba guided buying and process purchase orders in S4HANA. The service purchase order can be sent over to the supplier in ACP Ariba network and all the follow-on documents will be processed from ACP Ariba back into ACP S4HANA where the operational processes continue. For our customers, the integration simply reduces transactional costs due to less manual steps. Legal compliance is top of mind now more than ever. The last line of business I would like to cover in this video is enterprise risk and compliance. As an example of innovation, let me mention in international trade management the SAP watchlist screening application. With this product feature, it's possible to perform watchlist screening checks for sales orders without charge. We had an overview of the innovations per lines of business. Let's now come to the key innovations for industries and we have actually picked four verticals for this video, but there's more. In consumer products, demand fluctuates very rapidly. The new application, Last Mile Distribution for Direct Distribution, is designed for manufacturers and suppliers of different consumer goods industries as an alternative approach to making central retail deliveries for providing goods to stores. It typically serves customers from the beverage and food segments, but also tobacco distribution and oil and gas customers. It includes the delivery driver scenario where a personal truck fleet is used to deliver pre-ordered goods to retail stores, mom and pop stores, oil and gas stations, vending machine and other points of sales. Next on is utilities, particularly sales management for energy and water that has been simplified. The new utility sales contract management feature enables you to see an overview with all technical and business relevant details for our selected sales contract item. This overview also provides a detailed protocol with all information regarding the executed process steps and the result of these steps. Retail brands face right now significant challenges and are looking for more efficiencies. Store merchandising and inventory boost sales volume through the support of click and collect scenarios. This app enables store associates to quickly locate products in the handover area and provide them to consumers without making them wait for long. 
It also enables store managers to rearrange the existing store picking sequence in which the article can be arranged based on article hierarchy node or merchandising category for product pickup in the click and collect scenario. Next update in the industries is for retail. We improve your operational efficiency by providing insight to action capabilities through a new store merchandising cockpit. This app enables store managers to monitor, analyze key KPIs of their store, such as promotions, good receipt, and sales performance. This increases the overall efficiency significantly. Our fourth and last industry for this video is insurance. In policy processing, we help you retrieve a 360 degree information on insurance customers with our brand new SAP Fiori app in SAP S4HANA 2020. With the Customer 360 app, you can look for and display customers on a nice Fiori interface. The app provides a search feature to identify customers based on criteria like the customer name, the customer ID, the customer sale phone number, and more. Now that we are almost at the end, let's outline the next steps and your transition to SAP S4HANA. First, refer to SAP roadmaps. They describe recent and upcoming highlights in SAP's portfolio and are a great way to help you plan and implement your IT landscape. Take advantage of the interactive roadmap platform connecting thought leadership with solution capabilities, business value and innovations. The following SAP S4HANA Move planning tools will help you move on. Business scenario recommendations, helping customers and partners drive innovation adoptions and consume maintenance services. SAP Transformation Navigator to create your roadmap for moving to a digital core SAP S4HANA. And the readiness check to prepare the migration. Check out sap.com slash join the movement. The landing page on our marketing website will give you access to further resources, including the trial system. And of course, don't miss the SAP S4HANA community. Meet more SAP S4HANA experts and start to engage now. All this should equip you for the next step, which is to understand the value of SAP S4HANA for your company. And now we've covered the key aspects of this year's SAP S4HANA 2020 release. Thanks for watching and stay safe.